Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the lacy lila beach skirt. While this pattern is beginner friendly, it's not for absolute beginners, so I would say you get two or three projects under your belt before you try this. Now let's see what we'll need for this pattern. For this tutorial, you'll need at least 106 grams of a sport weight size 2 yarn. I used this one from Hobby. This isn't sponsored, but I did enjoy using this yarn and it's very lightweight and breathable which makes it perfect for beach wear. You'll also need a 6mm hook and the 4.5mm hook is optional but recommended. You'll also need scissors, a darning needle, and measuring tape. To figure out your measurements for your skirt you'll need to find your desired length so just place a measuring tape um, in front of you and decide how long you want it to be. Mark this down as your desired length and then determine how high you will want your waistband to be. Then write down your desired length for the waistband and then write down four and a half inches or 12 centimeters depending on what unit of measurement you're using for the trim. You'll subtract these measurements to get the um, length of your main part. Next I decided to include the measurements of my own skirt so you can use it as a reference if you like. At the bottom you can also see that I wrote 23 stitches. This is because when we do the trim you'll need to make sure you um, put your single crochets in multiples of 23 so that it lines up. Lastly these are the stitches and abbreviations you'll need to know to follow along with this pattern. Now let's get into it. Make a slip knot and then chain until you're about 2 inches shorter than your desired length for the main part. When you have your desired number, you'll skip the first two chains and yarn over, go into the third, and then do a half double crochet. So that's yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Half double crochet in each stitch till the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row, chain up two, turn your work, and half double crochet into every stitch and that's including this very first stitch so the chain does not count as a stitch we're always going to go into that very first chain and just do half double crochets all down the row When you get to the end of the second row, make sure you half double crochet into that very last stitch. Place a marker if you need to um, so you don't accidentally decrease. And then we're going to chain up two, turn our work, and we're going to half double crochet in each stitch just like we did on the previous row. And come back once you complete this third row and you're at the end of the fourth row. Now that I'm at the end of the fourth row, I'm going to increase in the last stitch. So we're going to place two half double crochets into this one stitch. And then you're going to chain up two, turn your work, and no increase. So only one half double crochet into the first stitch. Now we're going to repeat this pattern until you reach your desired length for the main part. Now I've reached the point where I'll stop increasing and we're just going to half double crochet in every stitch until it's almost long enough to wrap around your um, hips. Since the previous row is just repeating, I'm about to do a huge time skip. So here's a visual on where you should be by the next clip. 
So now I've reached the desired length for my main part and it leaves a bit of room for the thigh slit. So I'm going to go into that same stitch with my last half double crochet and I'm going to place two single crochets into that same stitch. Then I'm going to just single crochet along the top part of the skirt. So just find a way in and place a single crochet. You want to make sure that they're not too close nor too far spaced. Um, so just do that until the end of the row. At this point, swap to your 4.5 millimeter hook. I finished the row of single crochets, so I'm going to chain up two and turn my work, and then put a double crochet into that very first stitch, chain up one, skip one, and in the next stitch, put a double crochet. And we're going to repeat this pattern, chain up one, skip one, and double crochet. Do this for the next two rows or more if you want a higher waistband. So now I've gotten to the end of my second row and this is how high I want my waistband so I'm going to stop here and I'm going to begin chaining and you want to do at least 50 chains for this part because this is what we'll use to wrap around your waist and secure the skirt. So about 50 chains or one and a half times your waist measurement will be good for this part. Now I have the chain at my desired length, so we're going to just single cro crochet in every chain till the end of the um, row. So skip that first chain and in the next one is where we'll place our first single crochet and then just put a single crochet in every stitch and meet me back when you get to the end. Once you finish single crocheting down to the end of the chain, place a single crochet into that stitch that's right on top of the chain one spaces we were doing. So we're going to place single crochets above every stitch in on the top of our waistband. So you can go into the chain or into the space. I'm going to go into the space and you'll want to put one single crochet in the space, one single crochet into the double crochet stitch. So you can see here I'm going into the double crochet stitch and then I'll place one sing single crochet into the chain space and then one single crochet into the dub um, double crochet and you're just going to repeat that till you get to the end of the waistband. Somehow I forgot to record this but when you get to the end of the single crochets um, you're going to chain the same amount that you did on the previous side and single crochet your way back down. Now once you single crochet back down to the end of your second chain, you're going to slip stitch into this space where that first single crochet is. So you'll go, I'm going to go right into that um, space and slip stitch. And now we're going to swap back to our six millimeter hook. And then we're going to just single crochet down and around the skirt. Right, and I almost forgot to mention that we're going to keep our single crochets in multiples of 23. So at this first um, single crochet after the waistband, Place a stitch marker here if you need to because this is where we'll start counting our multiples of 23.
when you get to the end, increase in this last stitch and then turn and we'll put our single crochets around this bottom half of the skirt as well. And when you get to the other end, you'll e increase at the corner as well and then continue up to the to the other side. Now I've gotten to the end of the row and we're stopping just before the um, mesh space. So I'm going to put in one more single crochet. So I re-recorded this part because I felt like the original wasn't clear enough and this is the most difficult part of this pattern. So you'll just continue from where you are now on your single crochets and we'll start at the beginning of the next row. So now we're going to chain up one, turn your work, and place a double crochet into the very first stitch. Then place a double crochet in the next three stitches. Chain up one, and we're going to skip the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. We're going to go into the fourth stitch and we're going to place two double crochets into this fourth stitch. In the next stitch, place one double crochet then chain two and back into that same stitch place another double crochet. In the next stitch place two double crochets into that one stitch. Then chain one and we're going to skip the next three stitches. So one, two, three, go into the fourth, double crochet, replacing two double crochets into this one stitch. Then in the next stitch, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And then in the next stitch, two double crochets. Then we chain one, skip three, in the fourth stitch, place in the fourth stitch, place one double crochet. And then we're going to do three more double crochets in each, one in each stitch. There's one, two, three, and four. In the fifth stitch, we're going to do a double, three double crochet cluster. So yarn over, go into the stitch, and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two. Now you have two loops on the hook, so yarn over, go back to the stitch, and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two. Three loops on the hook, then yarn over, go back into the stitch and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two. Now you have four loops on the hook, so you're going to yarn over and pull through all four. And then we're going to do four more double crochets. There's one, two, three, and four. Then chain up one. From this point on, you're just going to repeat this pattern until you get to the end of the row. I'll go over it one more time and then I'll show you what to do when you get to the end. 
After you chain one, skip three, then in the fourth stitch, place two double crochets. In the next stitch, place a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet. In the following stitch, place two double crochets, then you'll chain one and skip three again. In the fourth stitch, place two double crochets. And in the next stitch, you'll place a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet into that same stitch. In the next one, you'll place two double crochets, and then you'll chain one, skip three stitches, and in the fourth, place a double crochet, and you'll place four double crochets, one in each stitch. Now just repeat this pattern. After these four double crochets, you'll do a three double crochet cluster and another four double crochets. Meet me back when you reach the end of this row. So the end of your row should end with a four double crochets. And then we're going to chain up one and turn our work. And then we're going to double crochet into this very first stitch. Double cro and then we're going to have four double crochets. So there's two, three, and four. Then after four double crochets, you chain up two and go to this chain two space that is in between all those double, double crochets. And you're going to do three double crochets. There's one, two, and three double crochets into that space. Chain up two and put three more double crochets into that space. So there's one, two, and three. And then you chain two, go to the next chain two space between the double crochets, do three, there's one, two, three, chain up two, and one, two, and three. Then we chain up two. And now we're going to do four double crochets. Three and four. When you get to the cluster, you're going to just chain one, skip over the cluster, and do four more double crochets. At this point, you will repeat this part. One, two. At this point, you're going to repeat this part where you'll do three double crochets, chain two, 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 crochets, chain two. and when you get here, you'll do four double crochets and then a chain four double crochets. So now just repeat this pattern until you get to the end and you can meet me back then. And once you get to the end here, I have a chain two on my hook and you'll just place one double crochet in each of these last four stitches. So I have one, two, three, 
and 4. This next row will be almost exactly the same as the previous one, so we'll chain up one, turn our work, and then place a double crochet into the very first stitch. And in these first four stitches, we'll place one double crochet in each. So there's three and four. Then you chain up two and you go to the chain two space and you'll place three double crochets chain two and three double crochets just like we've done before. After you do those three double crochets, make sure you chain two, don't forget like I did, and you'll move to that next chain two space, and you'll do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets again. Once you finish those three double crochets, you'll chain up two, and then you'll place one double crochet in each stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four. And in this chain one space, you'll place a double crochet cluster. From this point on, you're just going to repeat what we've been doing. So it'll be four, another four double crochets, and then you'll chain up two and do the three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, and repeat. All right, so now we're on to the fourth row. So we chain one, turn, double crochet into the first three stitches. So there's one two and three chain up two and then we go to this same space like always three double crochets one two three chain up two and in the same space three more double crochets just like last time two and three but now we're going to do something differently and we're going to chain five one two three four five and then go into this next space with the three double crochets chain two three double crochets Then go over to the double crochets we have here and you'll skip the first double crochet stitch. So we'll skip this first one and go into the second and double crochet. And we're going to put three double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. And now that we're at the cluster, you're just going to chain one, skip the cluster, and double crochet into the stitch after that. So in this stitch, I'll place a double crochet and we'll do two more double crochets for a total of three on this side. And now you're just gonna repeat this bit until you reach the end of the row. gotten to the end of the row I have my chain two on my hook so skip five stitches and finished with three double crochets one 
two and three. And now let's chain up one, turn our work. We're gonna do two double crochets. So in this very first stitch, double crochet. In the next stitch, double crochet. And then we chain two, move to the chain two space, put three double crochets. There's one, two, three. Then we chain seven. And we're going to move to this chain five space. And single crochet into the space. Then we chain three, one, two, three, and back into the space, we single crochet. Then we chain seven. And then in the next chain two space, Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So one, two, three, chain two, and one, two, three. Then we chain two. And we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And, and over this second double crochet, we're going to place a double crochet into this stitch. And then the next stitch, double crochet. And now we're gonna place a double crochet cluster into the chain one space. So we yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through four. And then we put two more double crochets At this point, you're just going to repeat what we've been doing. I'll meet you back at the end of the row. When you get to the end of your row, You'll chain up two after doing the three double crochets and you'll skip six stitches. So after that um, first double crochet stitch, we'll go into the one after that and double crochet and you'll put your final double crochet of the row into your very last stitch. So now we will chain up one, turn, And we are going to place one double crochet and then we chain up two and we've moved to the chain two space three double crochets one two three chain up two and one two, three. Then we chain seven. And then after you chain seven, you move to the chain seven space. 
and single crochet. Chain up five, single crochet again into the same space, chain up seven, and we're going to move to the next chain seven space. So you're going to skip this small space, move to the next chain seven space, single crochet, chain up five. and single crochet again into the same space. And then we chain up seven, and go into the chain two space, three double crochets, chain up two, three double crochets. Chain up two, and now you get to this area where we do the cluster. And you're going to do three double crochets together. So we're going to skip the first double crochet and in the second one, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go to the next stitch, and pull up a loop, Oops. then yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, go to the third stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through four. And then we're going to chain two and we're going to repeat what we did over here. When you get to the end of the row, you're just going to chain up two and you're going to go all the way to the last stitch and place a double crochet. On to the seventh row, we're going to chain up one, turn, and in the first stitch, place a single crochet, chain up two, move to the chain two space and put three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Then we chain five or chain seven. Now chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and into this chain seven space, single crochet, and we're going to chain three and skip to this next chain seven space. And then we're going to treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over twice. So I have three loops on my hook. Go into the space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So then we chain three again and do another treble crochet. So Yarn over twice, 
yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're gonna do that one more time. So chain three and treble crochet. And now do one more chain three, move to the last chain seven space and single crochet, then you chain five and go to this chain two space. Then we do three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. And now we chain two. And when you get here above the three double crochets together, just place one single crochet, chain two, And now you're going to repeat what we had just did. Once you get to the end, you'll chain up two and then place a single crochet into the very last stitch. So now we're on our final row. So you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and double crochet into the very first stitch. Then we're going to do a chain three peacoat stitch. So chain up three and three, and then you're going to put your hook into that back loop behind your chain. And then you're going to yarn over and slip stitch. And that's how we'll do the peacoats. So then we're going to yarn over twice, move to the chain two space, and we're going to do a four treble crochet cluster. So yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the stitch, then yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two again. Two loops on our stitch, yarn over twice, go into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on our hook, Yarn over twice, go into the space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on our hook, yarn over twice, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook. Now you'll chain five. and go to the first chain five space here and place a single crochet inside of it. Then we'll do another chain three peacoat. So chain up three, and then you'll go into that loop that sits behind on the back of your chain and go into it and slip stitch. Then
Then we'll go to this next chain three space that's right after the one you're working in. And we're going to yarn over twice and do a three treble crochet cluster. So it's the same as the one we did before, but instead of doing four treble crochets, we'll only do three. Then chain up three and we'll do another picot. Then yarn over twice, move to the next chain three space and we're going to do another three treble crochet cluster. Then we'll do another picot. So chain up three, and then you go into that loop behind the chain and slip stitch. And then we're gonna yarn over twice again, and we're gonna do another three treble crochet cluster, but this time we're going to go into this second crochet stitch. So this one in the middle, you're gonna go right into the stitch and pull up a loop, and you're gonna do your cluster there. Again, you'll do another chain three picot. And then you'll yarn over twice, go into the next chain three space, and do another three treble crochet cluster. Then you'll do another chain three picot. And then we're gonna yarn over twice and we're gonna go to this next chain three space. Three treble crochet cluster one, two, three. Chain up three, P.O. Go to the next chain five space, so this next space here, and single crochet. Then we chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go to this next chain two space, and we're gonna do four, a four treble crochet cluster. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna do three chain three peels. So one, two, three. So one peel, one, two, three, there's two peels, and one, two, three, and 
there's three peels. And then you're gonna come back to this first peel we did, slip stitch into it. And then we're gonna yarn over twice. Then you'll move to the next chain two space and do another four treble crochet cluster. After that, it's the same as we did previously, so we'll chain up five and single crochet into the next chain five space, and you can slow down the video if you need until you get to the end of the row. And then to end your row, you'll chain up five. And in this last chain two space, we'll do a four treble crochet cluster. There's three and four. Yarn over and pull through all your loops, and then we'll do one more pico, chain up three, go into the stitch behind the chain, and slip stitch. And now we'll go to the last stitch in our row and do it one last double crochet. Then you can chain up one and cut your yarn, and now you're done. Thank you all for watching this tutorial till the end. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if there's any way I can improve on making these so that they're more clear. And if you have any ideas for anything I should make, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.